Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas and today I'm bringing to you another algebra lesson and we're going to talk about how to solve equations. So get out a piece of paper and a pencil and let's begin. You need to know your math facts, your math vocabulary, fractions, and exponents. It's very important that you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. It's very important you know words like sum, product, divisor, quotient, etc. And you must be able to work in fractions. If you can't work in fractions, you need to go learn how to do fractions before you're going to become any good at uh, algebra. And then, of course, very important part of algebra is exponents. In this lesson, you will learn what is an equation, the golden rule of algebra, how to clear the fraction, and how to solve equations. So let's get started. An equation. An equation is two algebraic expressions connected by an equal sign. And there are some examples of equations. Note each one has an equal sign. The operations that you must know. There are only four things you can do to an equation. You must be able to add, subtract, multiply, and you must be able to divide. And you must know the golden rule. You can do anything you want to an equation, but whatever you do to one side, do to the other. Very important when it comes to understanding or working with algebra. And this is to help maintain balance. One of the most important things now that you need to do when you are solving equations and working with equations is you must have a target. You must know where you're going. You must know your goal. So you must recognize what you need and where you're going. You must be able to choose your path. All right, let's go to the blackboard and begin learning how to manipulate or solve equations. X plus 1 equals 5. Now, my goal, my target, is to isolate X, get X all by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a negative 1 to both sides. By doing that, the, the ones cancel out, and I get x equals 4. Very simple, very straightforward. But the important part here is realizing the goal to get x by itself. 4x plus 5 equals 17. Again, my goal is to isolate x, and so I'm going to add negative 5 to both sides. 5s cancel out. And we get 4x equals 12. 17 minus or plus negative 5 is 12. Now divide both sides by 4. And we get x equals 3. Voila. Let's try another one. Now in this situation here, we're going to do something very important. Again, the goal is to get uh, x equals, but notice I have a fraction. I want to do something about this fraction. I want to get rid of it. I want to do something called clear the fraction. And clearing the fraction is a very, very valuable tool. Now, you may not realize that now, but later on when we're working with rational polynomials and later in Algebra 2 or in Calculus, you're going to love this idea. So, in order to clear the fraction, I must find the lowest common uh, multiple. I must find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. All right, and since 6 is the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3, and that's all the denominators there are that counts, let's multiply everything by 6. And by multiplying everything by 6, I will get 20x minus 3 equals 30. Now look at each one of those steps and notice that I multiplied 6 to every piece. Also, be careful and watch your signs. Now add 3 to both sides. Now we have 20x equals 33. Divide both sides by 20. And our answer is x equals over 20. And you want to make sure that that is reduced, but don't worry about um, making it a, a mixed number. Mixed numbers are not useful in algebra, so we'll leave it as an improper fraction. All right, let's try this one here. Ah, with some parentheses, and we have x on both sides. Again, the goal is to isolate x, but first, we must get rid of the parentheses, and so we'll distribute the 2. And notice how it's distributed to everything inside. And now we have 2x minus 6 equals x minus 5. I'm going to uh, go ahead and eliminate x from one side. So I'll minus x from both. 
And by doing that, notice we'll get x minus 6 equals negative 5. Now, add 6 to both sides. And we get x equals 1. Not too bad, huh? All right, let's recap. You learned what an equation is, or what equations are. You learned the golden rule of algebra. Whatever you do to one side, uh, you must do to the other to maintain balance. Uh, how to clear the fraction, and how to solve equations. And I'm going to tell you, clearing the fraction is going to be a great tool for you later. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And be sure to check out my uh, websites and check out my uh, channel, especially if maybe you're learning chemistry. <laughs>